Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TroutandFeather.com and I'm going to jump right into this one because this is now the time to share the results of our 2018 Project Healing Waters collection. Now to tell you a little bit about how this whole thing got started, years ago my wife Heather and I were thinking about ways in which we could give back. We weren't quite sure how to do that, but when we started putting a couple things together, I love fly fishing, my wife Heather works for the VA, and we realized that Project Healing Waters would be that perfect fit. Now we reached out a few years ago just via a simple YouTube video and asked people, hey, if you'd like to send anything, we'd be happy to pass it off to the Pittsburgh Project Healing Waters chapter. And we just had an outpouring of support from so many of you that said, sure, I would love to help. So we've continued that fundraiser for the last few years, basically just trying to make it twofold. Number one, to create awareness for Project Healing Waters, and number two, we've really helped to kind of collect stuff for our local chapter, the Pittsburgh one. So with that said, I'm gonna share all the results from this year's Project Healing Waters collection. We're gonna be passing all this stuff off to the Project Healing Waters Pittsburgh, specifically Amanda Thompson, who's now running that one. But I don't wanna to forget to mention Skip Hughes, Terry Mulvihill as well, because those are two individuals that have really been a part of this over the years. And I thank all three of those individuals for everything they're doing for Project Healing Waters and for all the veterans out there. We really appreciate everything that you've done. Now before I share all the results of this year's collection, which they're around me right now, I do want to mention that if you didn't have a chance to participate this year, you can always check out their website and see if there's anything you can do, especially for your local chapter. That website is projecthealingwaters.org and once you're there you can find out a lot of information just about PHW, about some of the things they do, how they help others, and to see if there's a local chapter in your area. I'm sure that local chapter could use some supplies, maybe some a monetary donation or probably most importantly a little bit of your time so if there's a way in which you can help out with your local project healing waters chapter by all means please do that also I want to mention that regarding this year's collection a few of you donated and you want it to remain anonymous and we really thank you and we really appreciate you sending in stuff I won't share it via this video but thank you so much for your donation uh, I also really appreciate a few people reached out to me via email who shared that they made a monetary donation to Project Healing Waters and thank you so much for doing that and then a few people reached out and said that they've contacted their local chapters and without a doubt that is probably the best thing I've heard that is awesome and I hope everything goes well. And with that said, let me share some of the donations that we received this year. They are in no particular order. I'll just start grabbing a few. One is from Bruce Thomas Sally. Bruce is from Pennsylvania. He sent this package. Bruce, it was just loaded up with fly fishing supplies, some fly tying materials, just all kinds of stuff. Looks like there's tools down here, there's pliers. There's just a bunch of goodies that those veterans are gonna be able to use. Bruce, thank you so much. I got a package here. It came from Amazon, but inside of this one, there was a fly tying kit, just a brand new kit of tools that you can use for tying flies. And then there was another box that came from Amazon that was just loaded with all kinds of fly tying goodies, including some squirmy wormy bodies and a fly box. And all these came from Tim Carper. So Tim, thank you so much. Um, Tim, like so many others, you were like you were saying basically you didn't have a lot of extra stuff just lying around, but you'd like to donate and just say, hey, here's some Amazon stuff that I can buy that's brand new for the veterans. And Tim, I want to mention because of you kind of reaching out and saying that you were going to get stuff from Amazon, for next year's collection, we're going to have a list of stuff that Project Healing Waters is in need of. So instead of people trying to figure out what they have extra in their collections, they can actually just go to Amazon and buy it directly from a wish list. So Tim, thank you so much. Because of what you did this year, it's going to kind of help us make this a little bit easier and refine it next year. So we really appreciate it. Another one that I'll share is from Mr. David Hope from Arizona. It was really wild to get something the whole way from Arizona. Uh, David passed on just a baggie that was loaded with fly tying goodies. David, thank you so much. I promise you these will be put to good use. And then we had another gigantic box. The shipping on this box was $22. I remember coming home and saying to Heather, I can't believe it. This, this guy spent 22 bucks just to ship this stuff. His name is Mr. Robert McCarney. He is from Connecticut. 
this box is loaded, trust me. It's a very heavy box. He was so nice to almost itemize it as well. This includes four fly fishing vests, 11 reels or spare spools. Some of them have fly lines on them. There's two Orvis fly tying vices, and there's a bunch of tying and fishing gear. This thing was just loaded. Bob, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, I promise you this is gonna be put to good use. I really appreciate you not only just donating this stuff from your collection, but taking the time to box it up and spending $22 to ship it our way. We really appreciate it, and I look forward to passing this box over to Amanda. Oh, get this one out of the way. Hope I don't break anything there. A couple more that I'll share. Uh, this one's from my buddy Fred Fricani. He lives in Pennsylvania as well. Fred, uh, great seeing you as always. And Fred shipped a bunch of fly tying supplies. Fred, there's some great stuff in here. It looks like there's some hooks too. Fred, I look forward to hanging out with you soon, buddy. And thanks for contributing this year. And then the final one that I'll share, I don't have a name for this one. There's an individual I know we talked on Facebook. He sent, I don't know, 100 flies that we can just instantly tie on to those veterans' fly lines and get them rolling. So I apologize. I know I had the name somewhere. It wasn't included on all this, and, and maybe he chose to remain anonymous, and that's why. But I want you to know that we got them, and I will be definitely sharing those with the veterans. So those are a few of the goodies that we received this year. It was another great year for the collection, and I just wanna reach out to all of you and say thank you. I really appreciate it. If you weren't able to send anything, I am sure that you probably checked out the Project Healing Waters website or possibly even gave some time to your local chapter. So with all that said, we really appreciate it. Heather and I say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. We look forward to passing this stuff on. Uh, we'll be helping out at a couple of the Project Healing Water events this year, and we can't wait to do that. With all that said, thank you so much once again, everybody. The website, if you want to check it out, is projecthealingwaters.org. Get over there, check it out. And if you have anything you want to donate, hold on to it because we'll have another collection in 2019. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you soon.